Hi guys, this is Melissa from Payson.com and today we're going to talk about Spanish adjectives. Presented by Baselang.com, unlimited Spanish tutoring for 100 bucks a month. Some of the main difference between the Spanish and English grammar is the use of adjectives. In English, the adjectives go before the noun, but in Spanish, it goes after. But you'll get this very easy. In some adjectives, it can go both before and after, but I'm going to explain this later. It's very easy to learn. Remember, an adjective is a word that describes people or, or things. For example, una casa pequeña, a small house. A pequeña goes after the noun. Usually it's like that in Spanish, but of course we have some exceptions, but I'm going to explain this later. There is something very important we need to consider. In Spanish, an adjective always must match with gender and with number. So, with number, plural or singular, and with gender, feminine, masculine. Usually, when an adjective ends in O, it is masculine, and when it ends in A, it's feminine. Let's see some examples. Niño bueno. It is masculine, and it is singular. Niños buenos. It is plural, and it is masculine. Niña buena, it is feminine, and it's singular. Niñas buenas, feminine and plural. Okay, guys, here are some very common basic Spanish adjectives, along with example use. Negro, black, los teléfonos negros. This is plural and masculine. Bonita, beautiful, las mujeres bonitas. This is plural and feminine. Deliciosa. Delicious. Unas manzanas deliciosas. Plural and feminine. Feliz. Happy. Una familia feliz. This is singular and feminine. Triste. Sad. Un abuelo triste. Singular and masculine. Pequeño. Small. Un gato pequeño. This is singular and masculine. Bueno. Good. Un hotel bueno. This is singular and masculine as well. Malo. Bad. Un televisor malo. Singular and masculine. Nuevo. New. Una calle nueva. This is singular and feminine. Viejo. Old. Un taxi viejo. This is singular and masculine. Aburrido, boring, un día aburrido, singular and masculine. Difícil, hard, unos días difíciles, this is plural and masculine. Fácil, easy, un trabajo fácil, this is plural and feminine. Divertido, fun, las clases divertidas, this is plural and feminine. Sometimes you can use the adjective before the noun. For each of these cases, you can also put it after. So totally ignore this until later if you want. Sometimes the adjective will need to be changed a bit for this. For example, good, bueno, buen, un libro bueno, a good book, un buen libro, a good book as well. Bad, malo or mal, un momento malo, Un mal momento, but this sentence means a bad moment for both. Big, grande, gran. Una oportunidad grande, a big opportunity. Una gran oportunidad, a big opportunity as well. Guys, I just memorized those three. Most of the time, the adjective stays the same. For example, cold, frío. Una mañana fría, una fría mañana. It means a cold morning. Expensive, caro, un caro vestido, un vestido caro, an expensive dress. Simple, simple, una pregunta simple, una simple pregunta, a simple question. Delicious, delicioso, una pizza deliciosa, una deliciosa pizza, a delicious pizza. This rule never applies when you use colors. They always go after the noun. For instance, a red house, una casa roja. We never said una roja casa. 
The best way to learn this, since it can be used for every adjective, is to remember the few we just shared, particularly the first three. And when you practice speaking with natives, you'll pick up the times they used it before and you'll start to do the same naturally. Okay, as I told you at the beginning, there are some exceptions. Some adjectives use the same form for both genders. Luckily, these exceptions are pretty consistent. Here are some examples. The adjectives ending in in, inteligente, intelligent, verde, green, caliente, hot, grande, big, amable, kind, or friendly. The adjectives ending in consonant. Genial, great. Azul, blue. Gris, gray. Cortés, polite or courteous. Marrón, dark brown. The adjectives ending in ESTA or ISTA. Perfeccionista, perfectionist. Materialista, materialistic. Alarmista, alarmist. Extremista, extremist. And now, the comparative adjectives ending in OR, OR. Superior, superior or above when speaking about possession. Menor, less. Inferior, inferior. Peor, worse. Mejor, better. Okay, guys, this is it for today. This is very easy, but since in Spanish it's slightly different than in English when we're talking about adjectives, probably you'll need to practice more. If you want to practice with a real person, for example, with a baseline teacher, you just have to share this video publicly on Facebook. Post the baseline Facebook page on your post, and we're going to give you a 30-minute free class to practice whatever you want. Have a nice day. Ciao!